Hi students! Today I'm going to get you started on using Sketchpad.io or Sketchpad 5.1 to create your chibis. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm not a pro at Sketchpad, um, so I decided to give myself a break by using a chibi template to create my artwork. Let me show you how to upload your chibi template into your um, artwork area. So there's a couple of ways to do it, but the way that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a clip art. I'm going to go to here and say load your own image. I already downloaded some chibi templates to my computer, so I'm just going to click one of these and click open. There it is. So now I want to go ahead and make it bigger to match the size of my other one. And I think I styles, options, let's see what the options are. Okay, so I'm just going to move it over a little bit. So that's how I got my chibi template on there. I already started working on this one using a couple of different techniques. As you can see, I gave it my hairstyle with these long pieces and my bangs. The eyes look kind of derpy right now, but oh well, we're going to keep working on it and hopefully it'll turn out in the end. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit by using the zoom in button. Now, to get to the area I want to work on, I'm going to click select, and I'm going to just use my keyboard and the um, buttons on my, the arrows on my keyboard for that. So I'm going to start drawing an outfit on my um, chibi character. I'm going to make it really simple because I'm still learning how to use this platform. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, this button. Mine says sketchy on it, but yours will probably start off saying, um, paintbrush. I'm going to click paintbrush and then pick a color for the clothes. Today I'm wearing a blue jacket. So I'm going to pick a blue that kind of goes with what I'm wearing. All right. I can change the fill. I can make it uh, different blend modes and sizes. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I don't want blurry edges so I'm going to make it crisp. Maybe that's too big. Okay, um, let's see here. On your keyboard, if you want to undo, Control Z is how you undo. All right, so I'm gonna draw my jacket collar. Kind of difficult to draw using a mouse so it definitely frustrates me kind of I think I'm getting better with practice but it's not very easy all right so that's how I would draw my jacket now I'm gonna go ahead and change my setting to vector fill and change the fill color by getting the eyedropper tool and then I'm going to See if I can fill it in instead of having to color it. So, ooh, oh, undo. Oh no. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, I'm just going to fill it in using my paintbrush. Now, let's see how that works. So every time you make a mark on the page, it basically makes another layer. So I try to do as much as I can all in one click. So now this is starting to look less like a jacket, so I'm going to have to go back in on top of it to draw in the um, details. I'm going to switch from the paintbrush to the streamer. I use the streamer to create my hair and my lashes, and I'm going to do a darker blue and draw the outlines of the jacket. That, and here's the collar. So 
the, I don't know. I know a lot of my students use, that's too small, Sketchpad. If you have some skills that you want to share, I would love for you to make a little video and share them out with the class. I do digital art all the time, but I use Procreate on my iPad. So this is definitely not the same. So I'm struggling a bit. I do kind of find it a fun challenge though. So <laughs> let's see what I can do using this. All right, I don't want to spend the whole time drawing because I'll be really boring for you all. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'll show you how to export it once you have everything done. Add a couple of creases. Buttons. All right, so let's pretend I'm done with it. I'm definitely not, but let's pretend. So I'm gonna go down here to export. This is what you'll click when you're ready to save it. You're gonna say download JPEG, and then you're gonna click where you want to save that on your computer. I'm gonna save mine to my desktop, and boom, it will be saved. Then you can go to Google Classroom and you can turn it in there. This video is really just to get you guys started. So I hope that it gives you a little bit of confidence knowing that we're learning together. Okay kids, I hope you have fun learning Sketchpad and um, I look forward to seeing everybody put their best effort into it and I know that some of you guys are really gonna impress me. So let's do it.